Dave, <laughs> the return of the five Javantes happened while you were gone. Yeah. We've had a few games of it now after you got a couple of DNPs that drove Bulls fans crazy. Sure. We're oh, like, Billy! Man. Oh, Play Javante. I know that Billy hate went crazy. Even though Javante's basically been out of the league and bouncing around some G League squads for the last you know year plus, yeah. Bulls fans, seeing how shorthanded this team is, we're like, yo, we know what Javante, when he's healthy, if he is healthy, looks like. Sure. Especially around a lot of these same pieces. Sure. From not that long ago. No. Throw him out there. And he's put together some pretty solid performances off the bench. Mm-hmm. What, what, what do you make of this Javante 10-day contract situation? And do you want him to stick around? Well, that second part, yes, absolutely, you want him to stick around. Uh, more so out of necessity, uh, you want him to stick around to just to increase your chances of, of winning more games. Like, Javante helps you do those things offensively and defensively. We talked about the things that, he, that Ayo does on the floor. Like, Javante does that as well, man. Finds himself a pocket and will produce within that role. And two, will we produce. already – say it again? Will produce. Will produce. <laughs> so what do we say? So, and But we also know that he also can play three positions uh, for this Bulls team. We know he can play the two, the three, and the four. And he can guard the two, the three, and the four. Um, and the Bulls and, – and we're so used to undersized guards being power forwards. Like, it's just completely normal to us. But with him, we actually saw him in that role and actually really, truly produce – uh, in that role, which was very shocking uh, when we saw it. But he really did produce uh, for the Chicago Bulls during that absence of uh, Patrick Williams, mm-hmm. who hurt his wrist that year. Like, he really played well. And that's what acclimated him to Bulls fans a lot, is he just made that offense even more fun. You know, he made it go even more. And, yeah, we know what he is. He's also a transition guy. When he's out in transition, he is just amazing fun to watch. I always thought if he had a three-point shot, he would be richer. He would be so much richer in the NBA. That's all he needed. He had everything else that teams like. Mm-hmm. Um, but they need him at this point. It's not even the fact, Matt, that I want him to stay around, which I do. But they need a Javante Green on this team. You need somebody who you didn't have to really teach anything to, but somebody who already knew this system and what they were doing out there. And you can just plug in and play and get some rest for somebody out there on the floor. If Torrey Craig's not having that day like he uh, usually has, giving you more depth in that lineup. And, yeah, he gives Billy more options because one thing Billy is going to need is more <laughs> options on the floor because they can't, they, they can't really play with teams anymore as far as you putting this out here, we'll put this out here. They can't do that. Yeah. Bulls, are, Bulls are not in that position to be able to do that right now. So the fact that you get a guy like Javante who allows you some kind of option on something, on some given night when you're playing another guard-heavy team, it's a great thing, man. So I think – Watch tomorrow. Tomorrow will be a good example of that when they play the Hawks. Javante will play well. This is just my opinion against a team like that uh, on the Hawks, man. But they need him, Will. Like, they got to have this kind of guy on on the squad, especially going forward into the postseason. Yeah, he's going to be great as the uh, team's marquee free agent acquisition in this this summer. Get the man! I mean, he's already (laughs) outplaying Javon Carter. He's outplaying Batim. Like, Batim mania is gone because (laughs) Javante is back. Uh, Terry Taylor is riding the bench. Ooh. Like this team basically has three rostered players yeah. that aren't getting any minutes. Yeah. You've got three players who are out for the season. Yes. So yes. you're, yes. you got nine guys plus Javante. Yeah. And that's another five more. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I think it's, I think it's a trust thing. It's a situational thing as far as Billy putting minutes into him compared to other guys. But you know, when you kind of zoom out and look at the bigger picture, like some of these guys like Javante, these energy guys who can come in and play, like they really work best in smaller defined roles playing alongside of mm-hmm. star players, right? He compliments a DeMar because he can run up and down. He can defend. He can shoot the occasional three. He can back cut. He can get out mm-hmm. in transition. That's great. You need that. But like you can't really like build a team full of those guys. And no. I think that's why they no. felt like, okay, we're going to bring in some younger guys who have a little bit more versatility, mm-hmm. maybe aren't going to be as good a fits right away. But we feel like we can, you know, develop them within our system in our building, and and so I think that's kind of what they tried to do. But obviously now they're in a position where they're like dying to win every single game right. in order to get just a ninth seed, and you need the best guys out there that you can. So yeah. that's that's the situation where it is. And, sh- and shout out to my guy Mike uh, right there. He said um, that he won't be available for the playoffs. I know that's why I said going into the postseason. I didn't say yeah. he'd be playing, you know, with them there. But so I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, Will. Tomorrow's game against Atlanta will be the 10th and final day of Javante's 10-day contract? Yeah, I want to say that's right, because then they wouldn't play again until Friday. I think it ends right. the 2nd or the 3rd of, of uh, April. And, and so, and we also 
don't know yet if the league would grant the Bulls a second consecutive injury hardship 10 day mm -hmm. exception because it depends on what is going on with Julian Phillips. But the yes. latest update we got from Julian Phillips from their uh, game in Brooklyn Friday night is that he is still mostly in that walking boot mm. and not close to returning. Ooh. Yeah, so my guess is good that news, bad they... news. We might not see Phillips again for the rest of the season, but it might mean that they can sign Javante to another 10 day yeah. to finish out the final six games of the season. My guess is if they're going to do it, it's going to be like Thursday or Friday of next week, right before the game. So that they can extend that for five or six Make games it, of the last right. you know, couple games of the season, right? Because they so had that, not do they had right that gap between Monday's game and then exactly. not playing again until Friday. Okay, exactly. Yeah. We all silly like the mayor.